Hi, welcome to the Learning Amplaco CMS by Example Project. And today in this video, I'm going to show you how to download the CMS file from the internet. And after that, we attach it to the window PC. And the next step, I will create a Visual Studio solution and import the Amplaco shortcode into that solution for start coding. Okay, so now let's get started. I will close this one first slide. Okay, you open the web browser and access into this amraco.com and go to the download feature. You can see here, click on the download button here to get the file to the window PC. Okay. So now here, I only get the file from the internet and the current version is 7.7.7. Okay, so now I go ahead to attach it to this window PC. Okay, so here after the attack finished, I have a an, I have a for the which contain the code of this CMS. Okay, so now I go ahead to open the Visual Studio. Okay, so I will create a new project. I will have the project select web and select the ASP.NET web application. And the current version I'm using is the Visual Studio 2017. Okay, so now I go ahead to select the location which I want to save the shortcode. Okay, I select the Mm, C drive here. Okay, so now I will create a new folder and name it E Umbraco Learning. Okay, select this one and I will name this solution should be the Umbraco learning as well click on ok button okay so here in this step i will select the an empty solo solution okay because i don't want to i, I don't want the the short code of the I, I mean the base the, the default short code will be generated when we created the solution click on empty button here and click on ok to perform the action Yeah, so we have to wait a while to take uh, to make the Visual Studio creating a new so solution. Okay, cool. So now here you open the short code of the Umbraco website. You select it and copy, paste it into this solution. Paste it. Apply to own and click it button. And it will take the time when copy all of the file and resources into this solution. Let's wait. Apply to own item. Yes. Okay. So after that, all of the file for this project has been copied into this solution. You can see here. Okay, and we have also we have also some the file e hidden for now. You can click on the show own file here to hide to display own hidden. Okay, so click on view. Patio. Okay. Okay, cool. So now I will try to build this project. Yeah, you can see now after we import those, the Umbraco shortcode into this solution and we try to build this in the first time. And there are, there are no issue here. We have one success build. Okay, cool. So now I will open the destination folder which contains the shortcode of this project. Yeah, 
you can see here for now we have a solution file umbragolearning.sln okay cool yeah so we have done the step to to import umbrago short code into this to, uh, into the visual studio before we start coding okay so now i will i will open the internet information services to do the hot thing uh, the website on my local pc and after that we will install it on this video pc for coding okay I will open the Internet Information Services. Okay, I will create a site for this. Okay, and I will have the application pool by default here, and the physical path. I will copy the path. We contain the short code. Okay, back to the Visual Studio. Open this one. Yeah, so should be this part where we can see the web load config file here. Okay, copy it. Open back the Internet Information Services and hot name. And hot then I will let I will copy the name of sign name and put it here. Okay. Keep other thing by default. Click on OK button here. Okay, so after you could click on this one here, you can see we have a new site. Amrago dotet has been added into the Internet Information Services. And we have also application pool has been created here. They are the same name with the site. Umbraco.umbraco.tet. Okay. So now we have to open the uh, the system and hot file window system three two. It is the drive. Window system three. Drive etc. Hot. Open it in Notepad. Blood, blood. Okay, cool here. And now I will paste it here. Paste the name. Save it. Okay, close this one, and so now I will back to the Internet Information Service here and select Ambraco.tet. I click on the Pro Ambraco.tet here in the web in the browser. Yeah, so you, you can see here this one is a screen we have to in enter the information before we start installing the Abraco on the Windows PC. Okay, so now I will enter the name. Okay, so now we have button here it will click on the install button it will automatically install and do the configuration by default and otherwise when you click on the customize button here you can do some the configuration for the database you click on the data type drop down here and for the, in this video I will select the Microsoft SQL Server okay I will open the SQL Server here and the database sequence for I will copy the name of server name. Open this one. Server name should be GNB8 plus PC. Okay. 
So database name. Okay, database name. I will go ahead to create a new database. I will name it the Ambergold. Ambergo Learning DB. Enter. Okay, copy the name here. Okay, so you can see here after we create new database in the sequence server and when we open the table here it should be no table okay cool empty project uh, empty database you back to the website paste it here okay database name and the, this one is the credential of the database server you have to provide some other account and here i'm using the SA account and the password for this Continue button. Yeah, so click on continue button to create a a a, a, a machine key for the project. Okay, here we have two options. If you click on the thumbnail image here, so it will create a, a help you to create a, a sample sample paste of the Amplico website, and otherwise when you click on the no thing. I don't want to install a starter website, so meaning when you install the Ambraco on your Windows PC, it will install a blank website. Okay, so now I will click on thumbnail button here. Yeah, so you see here, we there are some the string here. It will update the status and the in progress of the installation on your PC. Okay, so normally it will take uh, around two or three minutes to finish the installation. Yes, almost done. Okay, so after the installation is done, it will direct you to the admin page of the Umbra Core. Okay. You here you can access the this one is the admin page and if you want to access the client page, you remove the Umbra Core. Enter. Let's wait for the first time running. Okay, here. This one is the client side. Okay, so now when you want to back to the admin page, you type slash umbra umbra enter. Yeah. Okay, so now I will open the home page here. Home page. Yeah. This is the content. Description. GMP. Testing. Save it. Back to the client side. Copy it. Save in public. Description. Moon feet. Yeah, you can see here at the end of this uh, decoration, it contains my name here, Jin Viet Tating. Okay, cool. So now I will open the um, Visual Studio and I try to see the hidden file here. Sorry. Yeah. You can see here in the view after we install the uh, the the sample project for this website, so it had added some 
some view here I will open the home page home I because for now this this this, this file is not included into this solution so now I click on this one and select include in project okay double click on this one yeah so there are the the, the, the code for for home page view okay so now I will try to enter some of the content here and it should I will enter here in it in it save it okay so now actually after I enter the content here and when I open the client side here and refresh the page so the new content has been I have to display on this page okay let's see yeah you can see here the content has been displaying on the website right okay so meaning for now the installation is done and for now you are able to work with the umbraco over the admin page or and also able to work with the umbraco over the, the the visual studio okay cool and i think that's, that's all for today and after you finish this video today you know how to uh, set up and import the umbraco short code from the website into the visual studio and you also know how to build the website on the Internet Information Services to run it. Uh, indeed, uh, run it over the Visual Studio. You don't need to run it. Uh, you don't need to type the uh, sign name on the browser and run it. Okay, cool. And hope that video will be helpful for you. And do let me know if you see any issue. Bye-bye and talk to you later.